Right now, we're going to talk about the big Northern Conference. A lot of changes happening in the state line area with high school athletic conferences. And with me right now, I have the Executive Director at Rockford Lutheran, uh, Don Gillingham, who also happens to be uh, the President this year of the big Northern Conference. And first of all, Don, thanks for coming on today. I sure appreciate it. Well, I'm glad to do it. You know, we have a big giant wheel in the big northern meeting room, and we spin it, and a new person gets to be president of the conference each year. So this year it came up on Rockford Lutheran. And it's a pretty interesting year because of all the changes taking place with the five big northern conference e-schools deciding to leave and go to the new Kishwaukee River Conference, and then there's some discussions going on out there about other things. What can you update us on today that happened at your meeting? Well, you know that uh, over the past year we've had five of our members leave and join with two Woodstock schools to create a new conference, and it's given us quite a change of direction. The Big Northern Conference has been along in place and has recently expanded to 16 teams, and now, in a year from now, we're going to be back down to 11, and so there's lots of discussion about a number of things that could get us to an even number of teams, which is great for football, and yet maintain the integrity of the scheduling and connections that we've had. You know, with all that going on, I guess football is the main player in the whole deal. How do you look to solve that, and can you discuss that at all right now? You know, you're, you're absolutely right. That conferences are wonderful, and today we approved a math contest and a uh, music, two musical events. So conferences aren't exclusively about football, mm-hmm. but there is no Friday night concert series that goes on on the 5 o'clock news or on the yeah. 10 o'clock news. Everyone's interested in athletics, and football is king. This is America, and we need to recognize that. And there's an even greater pressure because conference affiliation and record in conference helps to decide who gets into the state football playoffs in every other sport every team is eligible for the state playoff series but in football the number is limited and conferences have a lot to do with that you know uh de la salle who was a, a member of the uh, one of the suburban catholic league schools dropped football in the middle of the year we've seen that happen with uh pecatonic having to cancel game is that a concern in your discussions about football uh, possibly it is not okay no, all of our programs are solid they're at different places. Uh, you know, Lutheran is doing pretty well in football these days. Real good. Uh, you don't have to have a long memory to think about a time when we were catching our lunch on a regular basis and there were people calling for different conference affiliations and what could we do to help keep kids safe and be competitive. And these things are cyclical and they go around. I think the most impressive thing uh, since this was actually the first big northern meeting I attended as the head of school is the great sensitivity that the ADs and, and principals have to keeping these groups of teams together. And even though we've recently expanded to take on Dixon, Rock Falls, Mendota, other places like that, there's a great commitment to bring stability to this process as far as it's pro- uh, possible. You know, I know you've been in divisions. This is like the first year where you have eight in a division. Uh, Was divisional uh, talk uh, discussed at this meeting today and what you're going to do in the future with that? We really talked about the difficulty of having a conference with 11 teams, Mm -hmm. uh, 11 football teams. You remember there used to be a conference a long time ago called the Big Ten Conference. Yes. (laughs) And then they were the Big 11 and then they're Big 12 and now they're Big 14. Yeah. And growth makes that uh, really important. And in college, it's obviously driven by ticket sales and TV revenue. But in the high school ranks, it's largely driven by size of schools and distances to travel. So our challenge right now is how do we make the best football schedule with the uneven number of teams that it looks like we might have two years from now. And uh, are you allowed to explain what you might be doing in the future? Will you be contracting or will you be adding a member for football? You know, we're looking at all options. So all of your listeners, if you have ideas, please send (laughs) ideas on what we can do to even out our uh, conference schedule to Rockford Lutheran or to any of your other area schools because we're searching for answers. The one thing that we reaffirmed today is that we love the conference competition is good there's nothing like traveling to some of these schools on friday night whether we would expand to 12 or contract to 10 uh, there certainly is no movement no support no thought that the team would not remain in the conference or school would not remain in the conference but as we look at things it's really difficult to figure out how you make an 11 team schedule you know this year lutheran played quincy notre dame which is a perennial powerhouse from central illinois they have this rotating by as well, and one of their games this year is going to be played in Florida. 
oh my word uh, as they're looking for games and so we certainly don't want to be in a position where any of our conference teams have this rolling by and you're looking for a game week seven when most of the schools all around the state are playing a locked schedule because of the number of teams in their conference and you know if the state would ever go to district play has that come up in your talks too i know there's been talk about that and and that would solve all the football issues but it would also probably mess up what everybody's done with conferences in the past well, you know, there are some states where the conference affiliation is controlled by the state uh, founding organization. So mm-hmm. in our case, the Illinois High School Association would be the one who would establish conferences. You know, it's much like uh, discussions I had in my classroom yesterday about dress code. It's just not possible to make people happy when you talk about dress code or conference <laughs> affiliations. <laughs> And, you know, also, I love the quote you gave me that I still use. I don't know if it has anything to do with conferences, but you said being a uh, private school in the IHSA is like being a Republican in Chicago. Is that the kind of the situation you're facing, too, with all this? <laughs> you know, strangely enough, it's not. It's a great quote, and any time yeah. we get to say it, we should. But <laughs> in this situation, it's like there are 11 kids who were invited to Thanksgiving dinner, and there's really only 10 chairs. Yeah, musical chairs. So, <laughs> so you know, you, you got the, the little kids' Thanksgiving Day table. Uh, do we change affiliations and uh, add more teams and expand the table, or does one team find another way to get their football games scheduled without that? But you know, this, everybody's in the family and everybody's invited to Thanksgiving. We really spent a time at the at the meeting today wishing that we weren't in the situation we were in, but that's where we're at. Now, I wouldn't be a good reporter, and you feel free not to answer this because I don't like to stir the boat too much, but... Uh, uh, stir, uh, stir the pot, but was Rockford Christian discussed with their football situation, or is that something that they would have to answer themselves? You know, the Rockford Christian situation was discussed, and uh, I we did make a special. Normally, the president of the conference is the only one who talks, but I think you'll be able to give the people at Rockford Christian a call, and we decided that they really need to control their own message, and they'll probably be happy to talk to you and to share information as you go along. The most important thing I want to say as strongly as I can is the, the teams seated around that table, the schools represented at that table, have no desire to change the membership to exclude anyone from any of the activities. We're just really looking at the practical nature of, uh, of getting together a football schedule. That's more than fair, and I sure appreciate it. I don't think people realize that uh, talking about conference issues for any school administrator nowadays is a tough thing because there's constant changes. There's a super conference taking place in the suburbs. So I appreciate, Don, you taking the time to talk to us today. You know, and the people who listen to your show, they're looking for solid information, and we're educators. And one of the things that education is built on is open discussions. And there are no personnel matters here. There are only matters of, of uh, friendship and matters of uh, locality and transportation, competition, how we do that. So we invite more people into the discussions. You know, it's certainly uh, important for members who support these schools, whether they're community members or, or people paying tuition, in our case, to talk about these things because ultimately every school in the conference wants to do what's best for the conference. Well, thanks so much for taking time today, and we'll look forward to talking during the year. We're always glad to talk to you. Thanks, Dave. We've been talking to Executive Director at Rockford Lutheran Schools, Don Gillingham. For StateLineSportsHub.com, I'm Dave Schmidt.